had a little bit of a wreck here. Uh, this mold was kind of wasted here. Didn't didn't even get one part out of it. Uh, seems the the press got way too much pressure and cracked everything in this mold. Just pushed this this part right here into this. Uh, the mandrels got bent. I was able to successfully straighten those, so I think I can use those over again. But uh, as you can see there, it's uh, it's pretty well wrecked. It just it just collapsed the the bottom of the of the pot and just cracked the cavities wide open. This is a pretty high strength piece of aluminum, I believe. It's it's a cast product, but it's almost like steel. But of course, it wasn't real thick over top of this. Uh, I'd say it feels like maybe about a oh, quarter inch or so I left in the bottom of there. But uh, if you push on it with 80 tons, that's what's going to happen. So I got to make a new new mold and make sure it doesn't get pushed on too hard. But uh, it's amazing, amazing. There was never any rubber put in it. That, that's what happened to it. Well, there's my speedometer cable cover, which fits right there on the engine, on this uh, Allstate Puck engine. It should certainly keep water out of there, and I believe you know, I will be able to grease it up and get it over the end of the speedometer cable when the time comes, and it should fit on there. It should fit on there pretty much like that, and keep water from going in there. So. I guess the second mold worked okay, but that's what it took, two molds to do it. Uh, some things don't go the way you figure, that's just the way life is.